Good evening, everyone. This is Rush Miller coming back at you with yet another Let's Try. Tonight on the docket, we're going to BK, where you rule, have it your way, yada, yada, yada. Much better than BK free BK. That's that's good. Um, so, uh, we're actually treading, sort of previously treaded waters, but a year later, a year wiser, and a little different. Um, yeah, uh, I think my BK Ghost Pepper Whopper review was one of my first reviews to kind of, like, get traction. You know, the start of this channel. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Sorry about that duty once more called. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was my first review to gain traction. Kind of what led to this whole rigmarole. If I could do it all over again, would I do it the same way? Probably not. Um, I would have probably invested in some basic equipment beforehand, but, and made sure to kind of put the kibosh in some of those uh, comments before it got out of hand, but here we are. In addition, um, sorry, this is actually the last time I'll be coming to you from this location. I got a new job. So there will be a bit of a change in format. Not necessarily, like, how the videos play, just maybe when they're uploaded. Because, um, or, you know, stuff like that. Because, uh, the new job I'm taking is a management position at a different hotel. So I won't be... I probably won't be filming from work as much, since I'll actually be busy on my shift. Uh, yeah, but anyway... Tonight on the docket, we have Ghost Pepper Chicken Fries and the new and improved Ghost Pepper Whopper. Now, last year, the Ghost Pepper Whopper was a pretty bland sandwich. But this year, it looks like they actually put on actual, like, veggies, lettuce, tomato, stuff like that. So let's see how it looks. No, oh, that doesn't look pleasant. It's like a bed bug got squished in there. little fried jalapeno. We know that's on there from the last time I had this. Oops. Wait a minute. This is the same sandwich, just with more bacon. <coughs> Darn it, Burger King, you swindled me. You promised me lettuce this time. Which I would actually make this a lot easier to eat, because... Uh, oh god. Those oh, red jalapenos really have a kick. Um Because like lettuce and tomato would be, you know, would make it easier to eat. It it'd lessen the flavor. Yeah, it's just like I remember it. Kinda of dry. It needs mayo. And ketchup. Like, it needs the dressings of a Whopper. Um, sorry, I'm training tonight, and the new guy's answering the phones. I guess this just proves that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Again. It's not a good heat. It's not a flavorful heat. It's a very dry, flavorless heat that's like just eating cayenne pepper.
I hate this. I hate this so much. Like, this is literally just the same sandwich from last year. I'm so disappointed. I was expecting a brand new thing. They're just like, hey boss, we have the, all the, we have, we still have a surplus of those orange buns in the deep freeze. What should we do with them? Eh, just run the same campaign twice. Honestly, the best part of this is the bacon. And the fact that I think that the bacon from Burger King is the best part of the sandwich tells you how bad it is. This is why I got this, the halvesies. Because... This will calm my tongue down enough. A nice little palate, palate cleanser between the two things. Let's try the eight piece. Hopefully this will be a little better. Like, because the chicken fries are already spicy. You know, they have the peppery breading. Tastes good! Yeah, I'm just talking with my supervisor about how uh, chicken, how the chicken fries are the only good chicken meat thing or chicken thing from Burger King that's processed because, like, I think that the breading to meat ratio is a lot better, and also, you know, it uses their original breading that they used to have on the uh, their chicken nuggets that were, like, back in the early aughts and late 90s that I used to get with the small soldier toy or the Wild Wild West toy or the Men in Black 2 toy. I'll be right back. Sorry. Nose was running because again when I whenever I eat spicy foods my nose run, my nose runs. I swear some people they get hiccups from eating spicy food. Some people cough. Me, my nose runs. These do have, like, the spice, but because I already ate the Whopper, my brain is just convinced that it's just the continued heat of the Whopper, and these just are normal chicken things. Like, these actually taste good. So I'm okay that they're spicy. Mm. I love the crumblies.
good sandwich, or good, good chicken fries, bad sandwich. Now I gotta get the heat out of my mouth. I'm gonna eat these and just try to cool down. I'll have a good one. This is Roy Smiller. I'm Allie.